recent years, innovation cycles for space rockets accelerated tremendously. European launchers have to increase performance and cut costs in order to stay relevant in a market that is expected to be growing in the next few decades. Saving weight in the upper stage means a lower energy consumption for every kilogram transported into space resulting in a smaller environmental impact. The German Aerospace Center developed a liquid hydrogen propellant tank demonstrator for future launcher systems. Saving weight in the upper stage means a lower energy consumption for every kilogram that's transported into space, resulting in a smaller environmental impact. The German Aerospace Center developed a liquid hydrogen propellant tank demonstrator for future launcher systems. The innovative thermoplastic automated fiber placement and the differential design account for the need to minimize manufacturing costs, the opportunity for dustless joining and the easy installation of equipment and quality assurance. Compared to the metallic version, a significant reduction in structural weight is feasible. The tank is built from two subparts, beginning with a smaller dome. The DLR used a new heat source based on a Xenon flash lamp with reduced health and safety requirements compared to a standard laser. Unique to this process is the direct consolidation of the material, similar to other additive manufacturing processes. The component is built up in layers placed by a robotic layer pad. Three tapes with a total width of 1.5 inches are deposited with each track. The process is controlled via thermal imaging and laser line projection. It is capable to capture the surface in 3D and measure gaps and overlaps in real time. The data is stored in a database for further examination and transferred into a digital twin. After the dome is built, it is demolded and the second, integral part of the tank is manufactured. It combines the main tank structure with both skirts that form the interface of the tank to the upper stage and the bottom of the rocket. The component is built up in various fiber directions with a local maximum of 16 pre prec layers. Both parts are trimmed and in the next step the pole flanges and the anti-sloshing device are integrated. The propellant management system is designed to have a dual functionality acting as gallery and welding jig at the same time. Subsequently, the dome is inserted in the integral component and both elements are welded together via continuous ultrasonic welding. This welding process is developed and optimized in-house. An ultrasonic generator introduces vibrations to the joining area, thus generating heat by surface and intermolecular friction. The welding is conducted under pressure and with a defined cooling rate. With this demonstrator, the DLR proved that the production of a large-scale LH2 tank is possible with this process. An integrated quality assurance, a tailored differential design, and the optimal use of the thermoplastic capabilities reduce weight and cost simultaneously. It is now possible to use this technology for future European launchers or to adapt it for the adjacent industries. The DLR will proceed to optimize the technology by introducing new designs at isolation and will perform intensive permeability and ultra-low temperature testing.